Remember when we talked about selling inventory and we said that all sales have two journal entries. One deals with the sales price and one deals with the inventory cost. For example, assume you sold an item for $25 that cost you $10. You sold this to a customer for cash. The journal entry to record the sales price would be a debit to cash for $25 and a credit to sales revenue for $25. The journal entry to record the inventory cost would be a debit to cost of goods sold for $10 and a credit to inventory for $10. You made a gross profit of $15 on that sale. Where did that $10 cost figure come from? You're thinking, that's how much we paid for the inventory item when we bought it, silly. That's true, but what if we bought inventory several times and we paid slightly different prices for the same inventory each time we bought it. Here's the record of our inventory purchases for the last month. There are four different amounts we paid for our inventory. When we sell the one item of inventory, which cost do we use and why? This question is answered based on our inventory costing method. A company can use one of four possible inventory costing methods. The method that a company chooses dictates which cost figure is used when inventory is sold. These four methods are specific identification, FIFO, LIFO, and average cost. Specific identification keeps up with each item in inventory and the individual cost of each individual item. When an item is sold, the company knows exactly how much was paid for that specific item of inventory and records the cost of that specific item. This is most often used for companies with unique inventory. For example, a jewelry store knows how much each specific diamond ring they have cost them. A car dealership knows the cost of each individual vehicle on their lot. FIFO stands for first in, first out, and refers to the order in which we assume the inventory is sold and, therefore, the cost that is associated with each item. This cost method assumes the first items in, or the oldest purchases, are the first ones sold. That doesn't mean that has to be the physical flow of goods. The first one purchased isn't necessarily the first one in the row on the shelf that gets picked and that's sold first. However, from a cost perspective, we are assuming the first one sold was the first one purchased when we assign a cost to it. LIFO stands for last in, first out. We assume that the last or most recent purchased items in inventory are the first sold. Again, this doesn't mean this is how they are physically sold. This is a cost flow assumption or how we assign a cost to each inventory item sold. The average cost method doesn't keep up with individual items or the assumed order of sales. Rather, this method calculates an average cost of the inventory and uses that average each time inventory is sold. One other detail about inventory and inventory cost methods is that inventory can be kept on either a periodic system or a perpetual system. Under a periodic system, inventory is only updated periodically at the end of the period. Under a perpetual system, inventory is updated every time something impacts inventory, purchasing inventory and selling inventory. The choice between these two options will impact inventory cost and journal entries for inventory transactions. We will be learning the perpetual system. Next up, let's see each cost method in action.